What is said is forgivable, but what you did is not. I'd like to make a small donation to the work you do for the victims of landmines. That's absolutely outrageous. They can't cut our salaries. Your refusal to, to cooperate leaves us with no alternative, I'm afraid. I'm afraid her forgetfulness is becoming more and more apparent. I think she's getting old. We clearly need to standardise our procedures. At the moment, everyone has their own particular approach. Gee, this discussion has been very productive. We now have a number of possible solutions to the problem. Her dress is a kind of um, bluish green colour. I'm hopeful that I will have passed my exam this time round. On completion of this exercise, you will have learnt some new vocabulary, maybe. The football club has, a, has been strengthened by the addition of one or two carefully chosen foreign players. So sometimes when words change, the pronunciation changes quite a lot. We know about uh, photograph, photograph and um, photographer and photographic hello so this lesson we're going to do some reading and looking at some strange words how to pronounce them and long words how to stress them which words we're going to use as well. Let's have a look at another exercise here. It's totally understandable that you stayed home when you were sick. So the word there, I had to change it. It's totally understandable that you stayed home when you were sick. So I can't use the word as it is. So um, I don't know, Rod. I, I, I'll, te I'll tell you when you come in, and I have to hear you first to know whether you can. So B, don't laugh at his stupid jokes. You'll only what's that word? You'll only you'll only encourage him. No, that's going to be encourage him. So this time I'm going to put something in front. And see that sidewalk is slip, is slip, um, slippery, slippery. After Monday, I will no longer be a foreigner. I will receive my citizen. Hmm. I will receive my citizenship. Arthur will be very lonely unless you. Well, I need a word here which means make friends with somebody because I want just one word meaning that maybe something goes in front of friend so that it means to make friends with somebody yep that's the one Mohammed befriend yeah so Arthur will be very lonely unless you befriend him that word befriend is is not so common these days but that's the word. Would you come and read some for me? Join me and we're going to read some difficult words. Also, we haven't finished this poem. Dearest creature in creation. Study English pronunciation. 
notice this word pronunciation. It's not pronunciation. The verb is pronounce and the noun changes to pronunciation. I will teach you in this verse sounds like corpse, core, horse and worse. You will gain a lust for busyness. Make your head with heat suffer dizziness. Tear in eye, your dress will tear. So shall I, oh hear my prayer. So we read a lot of this before, but if it's new to you, you can try some of that at the beginning too. It's full of strange words. Well, words which are not so easy to pronounce. So I'm waiting for you. Please join me. Liber liberty, library, heave and heaven. Rachel, ache, moustache, eleven. We say hallowed, but allowed. People, but leopard, toad, but vowed. So, lots of words to learn the correct pronunciation for. Hello. Hello. Uh, good, morning. good morning. Good morning, Leo. Hi. Hi. Yeah, how are you? Yeah. Um. This is my first lesson today. How about you? Yeah. Is 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 the same. Like Were you reading this poem with us last time? Have uh, you seen? Yes, I have seen. I have seen. I have seen your le uh, your uh, uh, lesson before. Uh, Today, last oh. last lesson you you. Right. So this time, um, maybe we can finish the lesson. Okay. But I've got some noise uh, from on the microphone there. Bit of keep yourself muted while there's background music, please. So um, if you have background music, please just keep muted for a while. So, Helda, um, yes, it's up to you. We we can finish this poem and do a bit more of it. And while we're waiting, let's do that. So I'll go down. Uh, can you remember how much we read? I remember four. Now I surely will not plague you with such words as plaque and argue. But be careful how you speak. Say break and stake, but bleak and streak. Do you remember that one? Yes, I remember, but I, I don't I don't see the the text very well. I don't ah. know how uh, I don't know how catch the, the the text. Let me put the link in for you, and then maybe you can load the page. Sometimes pages don't load very well when we're inside the hangout, but try to load the page, and I will expand okay. the size of the font, make it bigger. Okay, okay, okay. There is that better. I'm I'm waiting. Yes, I, I, I know. Yes, it's very bad. It's a uh, yeah. Well, um, w let's move down to where we are. So let's go to thirteen. Uh, stranger. Let's try that. Uh, can you remember that one? Stranger. Yes. Try, thir try 13 for me, please. Stranger uh, does not r rhyme with anger. Neither does devour. 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 Do you know this word devour? I, I, devour is, is like desire. Um, yeah. mm, devour, I think of some wild animal catching something and eating all of it. Ah, yes, devour, yes. It's very, very wild. Devour, yes. Devour is to, to totally consume every, like lion, yes. every part. Uh, quick song. Hello? You have a, a bit of a background noise there with your microphone, so I have to mute you. 
Because there's a background noise there. Yes, uh, but n it's not me. No, it's not you. I know it's it's Tom. Tom, I had to mute your microphone. Try to fix your sound, please. So, uh, okay, Defer devour with clangor. Yes, devour with clangor. Clang clangor. Good. Um, souls, but fall. Foul. Do you know this foul. one? Foul. Yeah. Souls, but foul. Foul. Hound, but Aunt, font, front, want, want, grand, and grand. Yes, that's good. That last one, grant, could be grant because grand, um, grant, and grant, or grand and grant because there's two sounds there. It's not that's easy. Good. <laughs> yeah. Do you know uh, there's a homophone foul? Can you can you give me a sentence with foul? Uh, foul. Um, I don't uh, foul. And when you say foul, try to make an owl sound like owl. Owl. Foul. Yes, owl. Foul. Mm -hmm. uh, so where do you see foul? Uh, I don't remember now. Maybe a football match. A uh, foul. Yeah. Uh, yes. I. I know. I know. Uh, a foul like penalty. Penalty. A foul will maybe result in a penalty. A penalty is not a foul, but the foul is before the penalty. Uh, the foul is okay. The foul is something somebody does wrong. Okay, okay. Foul. Can you give an an example of a foul? Um. Um. For um, um, oh, what kind of things are fouls in football? A, a speed, a speed uh, fine. No. Ah, uh, yes, but the foul is the is the no. is really not related to speeding offences and police. So usually we use. The word foul in sport. Uh, 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 forget something. Or... Handball, Rod, is not really foul. Ah, yes, handball, yes. Handball is, is, is a ball, kind of foul, but they just say handball. Harsh ball. tackling is a foul, yes. Some kind of tackling um, is not allowed, and that's a foul. Okay, question for everybody. Uh, anybody can speak. There's only a small room now. But please tell me another word foul, a homophone. So foul is in football, and I want, um, yeah, handball is a kind of foul, but we don't use the word foul for handball. We usually use foul for bad tackles or something like this, not offside or handball. Now, um, another kind of foul, who knows another kind of foul related to animals and birds? Different spelling. Uh, um, a different spelling. Uh, a different spelling. Yeah, there's another kind of foul. Uh, a fault. No. Shall I spell it for you? This one. Do you know this one? F O W L. F O W. L. W. L. Who knows that one? Can uh, hi there, uh, Sabri. Can you speak to us as well? Okay. You're a bit quiet, Sabri. Yes. Okay. I'm here. Yeah. Do you know this other word, foul? Foul. F O W L, not F O U L. So we have two fouls. One is F O W L. I H four. G -A. We've got some problems here, I think. I can't hear you very well. Animals that can Well, fly. animals that can fly. No, it's it's a kind of bird. A bird. What kind of bird is a fowl? Like chicken. Chicken, yeah, chicken is a foul. And ducks. And geese. I think geese, some geese can, 
can fly, or I'm mistaken. Well, the the point about foul is not it's not related to flying. It's related to us farming them and eating their eggs. So, oh, so yeah. if we have ducks, chickens, geese, this is these are fowl. So let's move on to fourteen. Fourteen, uh, Tom, can you read for us, please? Can you read fourteen for us, please? Hello, Tom. Guizhi, Tom. Hello. Can you speak? Uh, top, top right microphone. Top right. At the top, on the right, is your microphone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, yeah, I got some problem with the plugin. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, uh, before, which part? Uh, uh, because earlier you had some background sound problems, okay, but now it's clear. Okay. So please read 14. Okay. Shoes. Sorry, can I see it? Shoes. Goals. Dots. Now first say finger. And then finger. Ginger. Linger. Just a moment, then, Tom. I, I want to say okay. something about one of those words because one of those words, there's two different sounds here. Um, let me show you. We've got this sound, this NG. Can you see the NG here? Yeah. Well, the NG is not always the same because uh, this is fin finger, finger, like two parts, like this. But this one is not. This one is singer. So the this is not ginger. This is ginger, linger. But this one is like yeah. ing ing. There's no g on this one. So shoes goes does. Now say finger, and then singer, ginger linger. So this word singer is not singer. It's singer. You know that singer. Yeah, like like um, when we have a verb with the gerund, it's ing singer. That's right. Okay, read, read, and the rest of it, please. Is real. Real. Seal. Mauve. Mauve. Yes, mauve. Color. Gold. Gauze. Gold. Gauze. Dodge. Gouge, gauge. Do you know these words? Uh, how many of these words do you know on this line? Real, zeal, mauve, gauze, gouge, gauge. Do you know these words? Uh, actually, I need two of them. Which two do you not do you know, or which two do you not know? Tell me. Actually, I need real and zeal. Real and zeal. So you know zeal. Yeah. Yeah, zeal. Uh, what is zeal? Do you like uh, some uh, some some feeling or something? If I did, I forgot. Kind of feeling, like uh, you yeah, really yeah. positively want to do something, maybe. And zeal is a forceful, positive feeling, I think. And mauve is a color. Does anybody know the color mauve? Mauve is a kind of color, bluish, purple, yeah, violet, blue. Some some blue der derivative. And um, we've got gauze. Gauze. What is gauze? It's sometimes a kind of material. Gauze. In the Chemistry lab, we have some gauze. Does anybody have any experience at school with the chemistry? Nah, I'm studying law. 
And at school, did you did you have chemistry? Yeah, but I was not into chemistry. I studied history and philosophy. And... Well, uh, there's one thing I remember: some gauze in the chemistry lab, so that a flame could go through it. Gauze is some kind of material and has air holes in it. What is gouge? If somebody gouges you, what are they doing? Maybe with their fingernails, gouging. Like scratching? Yeah, very deep, nasty scratches. If uh, Maybe if you attack somebody, they, they are like a tiger and they gouge you. Some people try to gouge your eyes out. Ah, scratch. Very, very deep scratches, gouging. And a gauge. What is a gauge? Uh, it's like uh, the gauge of your... It's a weight, a weight of your bag or something. No, it's like... Uh, yeah, like uh, it's, it might be an instrument to measure something. For example, a pressure gauge. A thermometer or something. I can't hear very very well here. Let me. Ah, uh, is that that's better now? I think. Can you hear me better now? Yes. Yeah. I ha I had to turn my own sound up a bit more. Sorry. All right then. So a pressure gauge, some kind of um, device for measuring. Device for measuring. Right. Let's. So marriage, foliage, mirage, and age. Age. Uh, Tom, do you know foliage? No, oh, sorry, I don't know. Well, it's lots of different things growing, like leaves. It's uh, bushy leaves and plants, uh, foliage, especially the leaves, more than the flowers. And what about mirage? What is a mirage? Have you ever seen one? Yeah, like in the desert, when you see a mirage far, and it's like water. Something yeah, you else. might think you see. You might think you can see an oasis. Yeah, but it's like heat in the desert. Yeah, and we even have that kind of effect even in England sometimes. You know, on the road when you see the straight road in front of you. Yeah, in the heat. Sometimes when you when there is a, a traffic jam and you, uh, it, the heat the heat makes somehow a mirage. Up yeah, on the top of the car. Yeah, I've seen it sometimes when there is no traffic, no traffic. and the road starts to shimmer and shine. Yeah, shimmer. shimmer. It's a kind of uh, reflective shimmer. So fifteen. Let's read that one then. So we'll go back to um, Jose Garcia. Are you here? I am here, I am so, so like that, sorry. Okay, so we, so would you like to read 15 now or a bit later? Yes, I, I, I can, thank you. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, 15, 15, uh, Kerry does not rhyme with Barry, nor does Barry sound like Barry. That, that's Not fury. Fury. Do you know that? Nor does fury sound like very. Fury sound like fury. And what is that word, fury? Fury is is, is bad. No bad thing. No. Uh, the adjective is furious. Were you angry? I was furious. Yeah. Yes. Angry. Angry. Yes. Fury. Like and what is that word, fury? Uh, can you all turn close your verbling chat, please? Bad, no bad thing, no? Okay. Right. Um, read, read the next okay. bit then. The next, okay. The next, dust, lost, post, and doth, cloth, loth, job, knob, bosom, transom, oath. 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 Yeah, there's some strange old words there, but oath. tell me about oath. Can you tell me about oath? Oath. 
Oath. Oath. I don't, I don't know what this means. I don't know what oath, oath. means. Well, oath is uh, kind of um, promise, but like, like in um, a court, swear. a formal pr swear, yes. Like uh, maybe if you want to be um, the prime minister, you have to swear an oath of allegiance to the country. So it's a kind of promise, but very formal kind of promise. You know, uh, which of these words, if I give you some words like oath, um, which of these words is not related to promises? Can you see the four words in the verbling chat? I don't know, I'm sorry. Okay, oath is a promise, promise is a promise, and then we've got row and vow. One of those is a promise too. Vow is a promise. A vow. Wedding vows. Wedding vows. That's a kind of promise when you get married. Yeah, Mohammed. about, yeah, yes, okay. Okay, Mohammed will go to 16. Can you read on 16, please? Yes, please. But I can't see. Uh, give me one second. 16? Yeah, I can. So the difference seems little. He say act actual, but vic victual. Refer does not rhyme with defer. Refer does not rhyme with defer. Fofer does and zephyr hypher. Well, this this last word is is the probably the most interesting on that line. It's a a, a, a cow which a cow. is not grown up. Heifer. 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 Yes. So, uh, and the important thing to learn here is though, um, and these words refer is a verb. Refer and defer. So let's move on and do one or two more, and then we're going to look at some um, suffixes and prefixes. Right, so uh, next one is 17. So 17 is, um, one minute. 17, who's next for 17? Let's, let me ask, uh, Enz, are you there? Are you in, are you in the room, Enz? Hello, Enz? No? Are you here? So, Tom, could you take it then? Sit 17, please. Okay. Uh, mint, pint, denote, and uh, detect. Thou, who, and. Um, George is his name, George. It's a boy's George. name. No, have you heard of um, St. George? Saint oh, George yeah. and the Dragon. So George. George. Yes. George eight lit. Scenic. Maybe scenic. Scenic. Let's take the scenic route to see have a look at the scenery. Scenic. Scenic. Arabic. Pacific. Science. Conscience. Con conscience. Conscience. Conscious. Scientific. Scientific. Good. Scientific. Go on a bit more. Get, do the next one too. So let me move it down for you. So next one as well. Liberty. Liberty. Sorry. You know, the, liberty. Statue of, the Statue of Liberty. Liberty, freedom. Liberty. Liberty. Library. Keep heaven. Keep and heaven. Perfect, yeah, well done. Rachel, egg, moustache. Moustache, yes, that's the, you know, hair on your face, above your lip, moustache. Yeah, moustache, eleven. We say hallowed, but hallowed. Hallowed, hallowed, hallowed. Hallowed is like a special religious ground or something, hallowed ground. We say hello, but a lot people leopard, 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 to white, 
Uh, to vowed. Vowed. This is the other promise. Wow. Of wedding, a kind of wedding promise, this one. Vowed. Yeah, well done. So, um, uh, ache. Can you describe ache for me? What does ache, what does ache mean? mean? It's a pain. pain. Pain, right. Okay. Toothache. Stomach ache. Right, good. So let's go on. 19 is next. Helder, you're back with 19. Could you read 19, please? Yes. Mark the difference. Moreover, the differences, plural. The differences. The, uh, the differences. Moreover. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, moreover. Oops, 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 oops. Let me um, put it in for you. Okay, no, uh, uh, it's number, uh, yes, uh, between mover, between mover, cover, clover. Yes, mover, cover, clover. Mm -hmm. Leashes, breach, breach, breaches. Le leeches. 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 Do you know what leeches are? They used to be used in medicine in the Middle Ages to take out some of your blood. Yes, it's a kind. It's a kind of uh, insect knot. Yeah, a little it's black. A breech, like, yes. And breeches, uh, some kind of trousers, maybe breeches. Yeah, breeches, wise, precise, uh, uh, callus, chalice, chalice, chalice. Yes, chalice, but police. And, li and lice. Perfect. And 22? 20 as well? The 20. Camel. Constable. Unstable. Principal. Disciple. Disciple. Do you know? Uh, so uh, what is sorry, a disciple? Sorry. Can you disciple. tell me about disciple? What is that? Disciple, like uh, a disciple of, of Christ, or, uh, Christ. Yeah, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and disciple. Luke, yeah, like Peter. Okay. Yes. Uh, label. Mm -hmm. And and twenty one two. Do twenty one as well. Petal. Petal. Mm -hmm. Where do you see petal. petals? It's uh, like a, fo a flower, no? Flower petal. Yes. yes. Petal. Uh, panel. Now, panel. There, there can be two panel. kinds. Panel. Uh, sometimes panel is a group of people, and sometimes panel is made of um, board or something. So, what? What? Tell me about the two different panels. Uh, panel uh, of discuss discussions or no? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What do the panel think? Sometimes the group. Of uh, yes. Uh, what the group think? Yes. And. Uh, and uh, where else would you see another uh, kind of panel? A, 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 a painter, a painter, um, uh, a panel to to paint, or yeah, and also on the the body of a vehicle, for example, a car. Oh, okay, okay. They yeah, they might yeah. say panel beater, somebody yeah, who yeah, makes like the panel. A, a, a door, a door of a car. Yes, a door panel. Yes. Door panel. Yeah. Yes. And what about a canal? What is that? The canal. It's uh, a little, a little river, um, or um, uh, uh. Uh, is it, ah, but ah, there's a very clear distinction between a canal and a river uh, to do with nature. What is a canal exactly? A canal is is made by by men. Yes, and there's one word for saying that: man-made. Man-made. Yes. Yes. Okay, so are the rest of 21? Uh, wait, surprise, plate. That one is a tricky one. It's to do with hairstyles and hair. Uh, do you remember that one? Is, does anybody know that third one? P-L-A-I-T, related to hair. Uh, it's where you have three strands of hair. Imagine somebody with long straight hair. You, you make three parts or three big parts and they are plaited together. So, Tong, in China it's quite common, uh, plaiting. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So you know what this word is, plait. Uh, I, I just know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see Chinese girls have, with long hair, sometimes have it. Yeah. And also, um, men have it. 
in America, the yes, North, yeah. North American Indian men, the, um, they have it at the back of their head, plaits. Yeah. So he's gone now, so um, uh, we'll move on. So, Mohammed, can you continue where we are there? Pla so, wait, surprise, plat. Uh, promise. Promise. Yeah, promise. Pal. Storm and storm. Uh, chase, a uh, case and chaos. Yeah. I think that that one before chaos. I think that might be a French word like chaillon, but I don't know. But let, you know, chaos, C H A O S, chaos. What is that chaos? It's like chaos in the UK. <laughs> chaos is like. I know anarchy in the UK, but I don't know chaos in the UK. I know, I can't describe it. Uh, chaos. chaos. If something is chaotic, what is it? It's like. Many people doing something violent. Something unordered. That's the the key point. Is there's no order to it, no rhyme nor reason. It's just all over the place, a big mess, a cha chaotic mess, all chaos. Okay, so chaos chair. And now the last line, please, Mohammed. Uh, senators, and mayor. Yeah, and that last one, do, does everybody know the difference between major and mayor? What's the difference between major and mayor? Mayor is like the mayor of the town. He's responsible of the town. Yeah, and that's major. the why. Uh, major is like something bigger, something higher. And in the army, what is major? It's like, uh, major is like a rank. It's, it's, it's a rank, yeah, it's a rank. Yeah. So, good. Let's go down to Nikita. I'll Hello. Go, uh, Hello. So 22, hi there. 22 for you for, for reading, please. So, uh, uh, start with 22 and 23. Tour, but our and Sakawa, for gas, LS, and Arkansas. C, idea, career, area, psalm, mer, mer, Maria, Sa, Maria, yeah. but Maria. Yeah. So, uh, Korea. The word Korea is a kind of homophone related to work. Do you know another word which sounds just like Korea? No, I actually don't know. Well, I'm, I'm thinking of an of this word. Do you know Korea? C A R double -E, e R. Korea. What do you do? Uh, do you have a job or are you a student? I'm a student and I'm now in uh, the university. And wh in what the are library. you studying? Uh, what, are, what are you studying? I'm studying uh, mechanical engineering. Aha. Uh -huh. So maybe one day you will have a career as a mechanical engineer. Korea is, is the ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Korea, Korea. Professional uh, job that you will have. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand. So that it sounds like Korea, and yeah. when two words sound the same, they are called homophones. And sometimes those are interesting. So can you carry on reading, please? Uh, youth. Uh, youth. Youth, uh, South, Southern, Cleans, and Clean. How did you say this one? Say that one again, please. South and. Southern. Well, that one's irregular because we've got northern, eastern, western, western. but this one is southern, like south is al and southern. Southern. A bit like the words pronounce and pronunciation. Some people don't pronounce pronunciation properly. They say pronunciation, but it's pronounce is a verb, pronounce, and the noun is pronunciation, and this is southern. Yeah. Southern. So youth, south, southern. Youth, cleanse, south, south, southern, cleanse and clean. Doctrine, turpentine, marine. Okay, and carry on, 24. Compare alien with Italian. Dandelion and Battalion. And what is a dandelion? Do you have any idea about that? No, I have no idea. Dandelion. I tell, oh, let me, don't look it up. I'll see if I can communicate to you what it is before you look it up. Okay, hold on. Are you looking it up? No, too late. 
So, what I want to do is tell you what one is, and then see if you understand. But you've looked it up. Now. It's a kind of wildflower, and it's sometimes the, the interesting thing about it. It's yellow. It has a seed head, which we call a clock. It's a big round ball of seed, and you can blow it, and all of the little seeds make parachutes. Like the white uh, light. Sky. Yeah, uh, yeah. So dandelion is a kind of flower, and so you keep to read on then dandelion and dandelion and battalion. Yep. Uh, Sally with Ellie. E. e. The, these words are kind of words for yes. I think you know there are some words like yeah. Yeah. yeah e. Uh, I for uh, I. I. <laughs> Way and key. So, so way, way is an interesting word. It's related to dairy product. Way. The, way. Uh, there's a, an old nursery rhyme. Um, curds and way. Um, a girl sitting on a piece of ground and she's uh, with her dairy product. You know milk is dairy. And you can make different things. First milk, uh, butter, cheese, whey, um, curd, all different kinds of things from from um, cow's milk. And whey is one. Mm. Cool. I, I like milk. <laughs> uh, yeah. I actually uh, drink it a lot. Yeah, I like um, I like milk, but I don't drink so much of it. I, I think I drink more milk in coffee than I do pure milk. But I would like to drink milk. And do you have full fat milk when you drink, or do you drink skimmed milk? I I drink skimmed milk. Yeah, you know, um, sorry, skimmed milk is very popular these days. When I was a kid, we had full fat milk. But I actually nowadays... live uh, live in a city, so uh, in a small town, uh, and uh, we have uh, no. So oh, we uh, haven't got uh, a natural milk. Uh, cows uh, are um, situated. Uh, you haven't got any cows. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't got any cows here. Which country is that then? Russia. But you have cows, don't you? I uh, know yeah, we have cows, but uh, I say I said uh, that we I haven't uh, many. Uh, in my uh, in my city where I live. Well, yeah, but cows don't like cities, do they? <laughs> <laughs> they do. Although, actually, you know, um, if you have uh, the honour of being of having the freedom of the city of London, this is a special honour that you can be given if you are uh, if you do something very good for the country. You can be given the freedom of the city of London. One of the rights you get. You have the right to take your sheep across Tower Bridge. But so far, I think nobody has done it. Because it's a bit crazy taking your sheep across Tower Bridge. Yeah. Well, now, for the next part of it, then we'll, we'll do some more of that another time. But now, I want to look at words changing. When words change, the sound sometimes changes too. So, um, if I put these classic words into the chat, just to remind you, uh, we've got three forms of the same word, and I want to see how we read them. Right, here we've got the three. Can, can you take us through these three, please, Nikita, in the verbling chat there? Three words, how do you read them? A photograph, uh, photographic, photographer. Yeah, so the, the, the whole pattern of the word can change sometimes, and it also changes sometimes when it's a noun or a verb. So we're looking at these changes and stress patterns in long words. So here's a word. Um, it could be a noun or it could be a verb. Yeah. Now, if it's um, a noun, it's pronounced in one way, and if it's a verb, it's pronounced in another. So if I make a sentence where it's a noun, 
not a very polite sentence, but can you read it for me? Uh, it has, there's a problem with it as well. How, what's the problem with that sentence? There. All right, an article. So let's fix it first. Now read it for me. Can you read it for me? Uh, give me an estimate. Well, it will be estimate, I think. Estimate. 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 Is now, noun. now make a, a word, a sentence, and tell me a sentence with it as a verb. So it's something you do now. Um, and you could do it to... Uh, I can uh, estimate the... Um, I can the estimate of the speed of a car and uh, say that is high. Yes, okay, I can estimate the speed of this car. So sometimes we see the change there. And now... Um, Go to exercise three on the screen, and the highlighted word needs to change, and see if you can read it with correct pronunciation. So, look at the sentence up there, 3A, and read it with the correct word. Uh, into the correct form. So the word forgive is not the correct form. Forgive is a verb, but we need... What part of speech? Forgiveness. Forgivable. Forgivable, yes. So adjectives come after be, usually, um, because a, a noun could come after to be as well, but it doesn't really make such good sense. What you said is forgiveness. It's a bit strange, isn't it? But what you said is forgivable makes much better sense. Let's go round the circle now. So, Helda, 3B, please. 3B, okay. I'd like to make a small donate to the work you do with the victims of land. I, I can see. Landmines. Let me make it bigger. Landmines, yes. Bigger. First of all, you need to change donate because donate, uh, yes. donate is um, a verb. And we can see a small, so we know what part of speech comes after a small. A small it must be donation. A, a, it must be a, a noun. Donation. So can you read it again there for me with the noun form? A donative. Donation. Donation, yes. I'd like to make a small donation to the work you do with the victims of landmines. Helda, do you know what landmines are and what's going on here? What's happening? Yes, uh, I think it's uh, 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 um, uh, a field with the mines, no? Yeah, mines, yeah, F minefield, yeah, okay. So now, num uh, C would be uh, for you, please, Igor. That's absolutely all trade. They can't cut our salaries. That's absolutely all trade. Out and outrage is um, a noun. Now, absolutely uh, is modifying what kind of word here? That's absolutely... Outrageous. Outrageous, yes. <laughs> you see? Yeah. I guess. I guess. Now, th this sentence is also interesting because um, if you have the pronunciation of can and can't, that's one way, but yeah, another way is can and can't. Just a little change, can't. But if that little t is missing, they can cut our salaries and they can't cut our salaries, well, you have to change your whole intonation So and, so, and make sure people understand you by your intonation of the whole sentence. So that's absolutely outrageous. They can't cut our salaries. I would say can't, and because that's my accent. I would say they can't cut our salaries. Okay, that's good work. So, um, Jose, can you do the next one, please, D? Yeah, you refuse the to to cooperate, leave us with no alternative, I'm afraid. All right, listen up then a minute, because we've got some words here, like, um, cooperate, cooperate. Cooperate. Cooperate, yeah, and leave us cooperate. with no alternative, alternative. With no alternative, alternative. Yeah, now, refuse is, um, Needs to be a noun, noun. So your, 
What is the word noun form of refuse? Refusion. Refusal. Refusal. Refus Can you write it? Refusal. 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 With A? Yes, A L. Refusal. A L. That's an interesting word. Forgiveness, okay. word. It's not refusionation, it's refusal. Okay. Yeah. So can you read it once more through? Read it um, with, like, I'll read it first and you read it after me. So, your refusal to cooperate leaves us with no alternative, I'm afraid. Yes. Read. Yes. Once more, Jose. You, you refuse to cooperate to leave us with no alternative, I am a flat. Okay, but you still said refuse and you need your refusal here. Yeah, All right, let's move on. Yeah, to Nikita. Nikita, yours is the next one. So, um, that's E. Whoops, just a minute. Moving my screen there. We've got E there. So, Nikita, can you read E? Uh, uh, yep. I'm afraid your forgiveness is becoming more and more apparent. It's not forgiveness, though, is it? It's another word. Another, yeah. It's for, so, forgetful is the root, not forgive. Ah, mm, ah, it's, it's it root. Is it too small? Let me make it a bit bigger. Just a moment. Let's try and get it bigger. So, um, forgetfulness. Yeah, I'm afraid her forgetfulness is becoming forgetfulness. more and more apparent. Now, your pronunciation is very good because <laughs> thank you. Apparent and um, is a tricky word. Apparent becoming. I'm afraid her forgetfulness is becoming more and more apparent. So next, it's F. F is back to you, Elder. F for you. Yes, we clear. We clearly. Need to standard our procedure procedures. At the moment, everyone has their own particular approach. Yeah. So change the word standard. What do we need instead? Not standard. Uh, we, we, need, uh, we need to standard standardize. Standardize. Yes. Yeah, standardize. So we clearly need to standardize our procedures. At the moment, everyone has their own particular approach. So G is uh, Igor's. If I move it down, uh, this uh, discussion has been very productive. We now have now, now, now we now have a number of possible possible solutions to the problem. Yeah, that was good. So this discussion has been very productive. Productive. Now, we now have a number of possible solutions to the problem. Productive um, needs a bit of duct, product, pr. It's just productive. Productive. Yeah. Okay. Good. So H is for the um, for Jose H. Ah. Uh, yeah. Go on. Uh, her dress. Her, her dress is a kind of blue green color. Now, who knows the trick here for joining colors together? Blue, green. Uh, we can say bluey green, or we can say it another way. What's another way? If something is not exactly something, we can use ish. Ish. So if you don't know somebody's age, you can say ish is a. It's not exactly, but something like that. So bluish green. Bluish green. Bluish green. Yeah. Bluish green. Nikita, can you try I, please? Uh, I. I'm uh, hopeful that I will have passed my English exam this time. Perfect. Really well done. And notice how he did it with a past. Uh, I'm hopeful that I will have passed, like passed my English exam this time. Perfect. Well done. Good job. So J. Whoops. Just a minute. I think I've lost you. Hold on. Try again. Sometimes you can lose the screen share very easily, so I have to go back and get it. Just a minute. If you click the wrong button order, then that's what happens. So now I have to go back and screen share again. There it goes. So, um, J is Helder. 
on complete of of on oh, sorry on complete of this exercise you 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 will have learned some new vocabulary very nicely uh, pronounced now can you tell me the word please on complete on completely no anybody completion on completion now i have a tricky question for you because uh, what what about on completing if i say on completing what do you think if if i suggest it uh, uh, on completing when you finish yes you it's not so bad is it but i would you must have you a bit of a problem uh, maybe get aware of uh, uh, off off you should get it over. yeah that's what oh. i think as well I, I but i'm not going to say that it's definitely a big mistake but i don't like the of with on completing of on completing this exercise sounds very natural for me but you know sometimes the of preposition is added uh, some some people add off when other people don't um, because um, I saw Mr. T on BBC he's from America you know Mr. T from the 18 and he always says um, get off of off of and um, a lot of people say get off of and I say just get off but uh, yeah so I prefer on completion on completion of this exercise you will have learned some new vocabulary that means that next one is it Igor now for um the football the football the football or the football the football the football uh, club uh, has been stronger by the addition of one or two carefully chosen foreign foreign players foreign players well let's go through this one carefully because we've got chosen here chosen, chosen. foreign the football foreign. club has been now let's have a look at your word stronger yes stronger. we say stronger um, has been stronger we need another word don't we we need an, another word do you see that's why stronger isn't good because what the, is the other word we the need the strongest I Nikki, we need, can you we, help need us? we need the verb uh, uh, strong strengthened uh, like this yeah if it's stronger we need made stronger but we don't have made so what verb is make stronger if okay if you're weak if something is making you weaken feel, weaken then so the football Str club has stronger stronger strengthened ah strengthened strengthened yeah strengthened. the football club has been strengthened by the addition of one or two carefully chosen yeah, three. 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 yeah so yeah so um there's quite a few a lot more of this it's very good pronunciation practice because we've got long words and different words but it's good vocabulary practice too so you can take that link and you can listen to the correct answers and then I'm going to start the next lesson now so um, there's, we'll, we will do some more of this another time because there are more to do more exercises let's have a look further down changing words with suffixes and prefixes suffixes at the end prefixes at the beginning so we've got all of these kind of extra things it's totally understand that you stayed home when you were sick understandable and here courage we've got a prefix so to finish today who knows the prefix that goes before courage here encourage encourage yes so we'll do some more of those another day so bye now and um, I'm going off to start the next lesson now so see you later See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.